My name is Lisbeth Lauterbach. I'm curator of archaeology at the Natural History Museum of Utah and uh, assistant professor in the anthropology department at University of Utah. And I study archaeology of the desert west. Our new study has um, found the earliest evidence of potato use in North America. But aside from that, what's interesting and exciting about this study is that it's about a resource, a food resource that has that archaeologists didn't really know existed in, in the prehistoric past. So it's kind of about this new discovery or rediscovery of a potato, a wild potato native to North America and um, it being a very important food resource for the past 10,000 years up until today. So we made our discovery at an archaeological site called North Creek Shelter. It's actually the oldest archaeological site on the Colorado Plateau. And it's located in Escalante, which is in south central Utah, just outside the Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument. And Escalante Valley actually used to be called Potato Valley after this potato, but now it's kind of a forgotten resource. I'm Bruce Pavlik. I'm conservation director at Red Butte Garden and Arboretum at the University of Utah. I'm interested in conserving wild native plants and wild landscapes. Our potato, the Four Corners potato, is really only found in western North America. It has a relatively limited range and in southern Utah you only find it associated with a few scattered archaeological sites. And this insight is what's partially led us to this uh, study of looking at how this plant was traditionally used as a food resource. So the excavations took place at North Creek Shelter, which is on the property now owned by Joette Marie Rex and her family. So this is North Creek Shelter, and from 2004 to 2008, Joel Janetsky and his Brigham Young University crew excavated this site. Those excavations revealed several different stratigraphic layers going back to 11,000 years ago of continuous occupation. And within those layers are monos and metates that people used in the past to grind plant material or even animals. And when I was looking at those stones, I found um, plant residues that resembled potato starch. And I didn't quite understand why I was finding potato starch on these tools. And within a couple of years, we were doing some botanizing around her property and actually found a potato plant. And that was the plant that turned out to be what was processed on these stones. Joette Marie Rex was really excited when we told her about our discovery. She had no idea that the potato was growing on her property. Oh, I, I would love to know more. I need a tutorial. <laughs> but I think the fact that it's so unique, you know, will, will really help the folks in Escalante want to help propagate it. Mm -hmm. Who wouldn't? <laughs> this was, um, was an important part of this area being settled, so it deserves to be part again. Mm -hmm. Do you think people have kind of lost the memory of the potato? I think so, because they're not as well known, and I think, yeah, I because everybody knows the story behind Potato Valley, but then where are the potatoes? <laughs> so I think the memory is gone. Yeah. Joette Marie Rex introduced us to Delane Griffin, who is a direct descendant of the pioneers. And he's 94 years old, and he grows the potato in his garden. And he uh, still eats the potato today. So we interviewed Delane and we found out that it was his wife who first planted these potatoes in their garden. But he tends to it as kind of paying homage to his wife. Oh, she was a kind of a history buff uh, about uh, Escalante. And, and, uh, and that uh, seemed to, to be some reason why, because it was called Potato Valley, why we didn't know more about that. Do you think it's important to keep the memory of the potato alive? Oh, in, in Escalante? I, I think so. I think that's probably what interested in, in keeping the 
it was a rare thing, you know, but it, it, it wasn't found every place. And so that, well, I think that one of the things that made it important to her. We've partnered with colleagues at the U.S. Potato Gene Bank in Wisconsin, and they are potato geneticists. So we've asked them to look at the genes that are present in these different populations across the range of the species, including those in, in southern Utah. And what we're finding, at least in a preliminary way, is that there's evidence that some of those particular genes in the tubers that we find near Escalante uh, actually come from very far away. And so it suggests that maybe those potatoes were transported there. We need to follow up with more evidence for this, but those genes are markers and they tell us something about the evolutionary history of the potato and its geography.